When would I order a B12 in full light serum panel versus just a B12? I just always order them together. I would say it's relatively uncommon to see folate deficiency compared to B12 deficiency just because so many processed foods are fortified with folic acid and you need to really eat animal protein to get B12 and lots of people are vegan. But I've never had an issue with it getting covered by insurance and it is sometimes useful, especially if you notice like a big discrepancy, like someone has a really high folic acid acid level or like a high normal and really low B12, you know, it just gives you a little bit of information about what their diet's probably like. Also, folic acid is one of those things where the source matters a lot. You know, we talked about it the last call when I was talking about methylation, how excessive dietary folinic acid that's specifically coming from fortified processed foods actually can interfere with methylation because it is like a competitor substrate for better forms of folic acid that you would get from a dietary source like a spinach or from a food source.